Ukraine was on high alert on Monday night following Russia's earlier unleashing of its most widespread missile bombardment in months. The onslaught appears to have taken the war to a new level. Monday's strikes killed at least 14 and injured dozens more, international condemnations being swift. A planned special session of the UN General Assembly took on an added urgency, with both sides trading accusations of terrorism. By launching missile attacks on civilians, sleeping in their homes or rushing to work, children going to schools, Russia has proven once again that it is a terrorist state that must be deterred in the strongest possible ways. Moscow says it's retaliating for the bombing of a crucial bridge linking occupied Crimea to the Russian mainland. It blames Ukraine. The evidence of what the Kyiv regime can do is the sabotage of the Crimea bridge. We warned that this will not be conducted with impunity. When you do these acts of sabotage, when you kill those who are unfavorable to you, the Kyiv regime is on the same level with the most outrageous terrorist organizations. Hardliners in Moscow are pushing for more, including Putin ally Dmitry Medvedev, who tweeted, the first episode has been played. There will be others to dismantle Ukraine's political regime. Ukraine's president remains defiant. Ukraine cannot be intimidated, only united even more. Ukraine cannot be stopped, only convinced even more that terrorists must be neutralized. Zelensky went on to promise Ukrainians that everything that was destroyed will be rebuilt.